Deuteronomy 8. A warning not to forget God in prosperity. All the commandment which I command you this day you shall be careful to do, that you may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore to give to your fathers. And you shall remember all the way which the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments, or not. And he humbled you and let you hunger and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but that man lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Your clothing did not wear out upon you, and your foot did not swell, these forty years. Know then in your heart that, as a man disciplines his son, the Lord your God disciplines you. So you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God, by walking in his ways and by fearing him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs, flowing forth in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you can dig copper. And you shall eat and be full, and you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Take heed lest you forget the Lord your God, by not keeping his commandments and his ordinances and his statutes, which I command you this day, lest, when you have eaten and are full, and have built goodly houses and live in them, and when your herds and flocks multiply, and your silver and gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart be lifted up, and you forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, with its fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty ground where there was no water, who brought you water out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you and test you, to do you good in the end. Beware lest you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant which he swore to your fathers, as at this day. And if you forget the Lord your God and go after other gods and serve them and worship them, I solemnly warn you this day that you shall surely perish. Like the nations that the Lord makes to perish before you, so shall you perish, because you would not obey the voice of the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 9 The Consequences of Rebelling Against God Here, O Israel, you are to pass over the Jordan this day, to go in to dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourselves, cities great and fortified up to heaven, a people great and tall, the sons of the Anakim, whom you know, and of whom you have heard it said, who can stand before the sons of Anak. Know therefore this day that he who goes over before you as a devouring fire is the Lord your God, he will destroy them and subdue them before you, so you shall drive them out, and make them perish quickly, as the Lord has promised you. Do not say in your heart, after the Lord your God has thrust them out before you, it is because of my righteousness that the Lord has brought me in to possess this land, whereas it is because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord is driving them out before you. Not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart are you going in to possess their land, but because of the wickedness of these nations the Lord your God is driving them out from before you, and that he may confirm the word which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Know therefore that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stubborn people. Remember and do not forget how you provoked the Lord your God to wrath in the wilderness, from the day you came out of the land of Egypt, until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against the Lord. Even at Horeb you provoked the Lord to wrath, and the Lord was so angry with you that he was ready to destroy you. When I went up the mountain to receive the tables of stone, the tables of the covenant which the Lord made with you, I remained on the mountain forty days and forty nights, I neither ate bread nor drank water. And the Lord gave me the two tables of stone written with the finger of God, and on them were all the words which the Lord had spoken with you on the mountain out of the midst of the fire on the day of the assembly. And at the end of forty days and forty nights the Lord gave me the two tables of stone, the tables of the covenant. 
Then the Lord said to me, Arise, go down quickly from here, for your people whom you have brought from Egypt have acted corruptly, they have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them, they have made themselves a molten image. Furthermore the Lord said to me, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stubborn people, let me alone, that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make of you a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mountain, and the mountain was burning with fire, and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, you had sinned against the Lord your God, you had made yourselves a molten calf, you had turned aside quickly from the way which the Lord had commanded you. So I took hold of the two tables, and cast them out of my two hands, and broke them before your eyes. Then I lay prostrate before the Lord as before, forty days and forty nights, I neither ate bread nor drank water, because of all the sin which you had committed, in doing what was evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure which the Lord bore against you, so that he was ready to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened to me that time also. And the Lord was so angry with Aaron that he was ready to destroy him, and I prayed for Aaron also at the same time. Then I took the sinful thing, the calf which you had made, and burned it with fire and crushed it, grinding it very small, until it was as fine as dust, and I threw the dust of it into the brook that descended out of the mountain. At Taborah also, and at Massah, and at Kibroth Hatova, you provoked the Lord to wrath. And when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and take possession of the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and did not believe him or obey his voice. You have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. So I lay prostrate before the Lord for these forty days and forty nights, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. And I prayed to the Lord, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thy heritage, whom thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, whom thou hast brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, do not regard the stubbornness of this people, or their wickedness, or their sin, lest the land from which thou didst bring us say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he has brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. For they are thy people and thy heritage, whom thou didst bring out by thy great power and by thy outstretched arm. Deuteronomy 10 The Second Pair of Tablets At that time the Lord said to me, Hew two tables of stone like the first, and come up to me on the mountain, and make an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were on the first tables which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, and hewed two tables of stone like the first, and went up the mountain with the two tables in my hand. And he wrote on the tables, as at the first writing, the ten commandments which the Lord had spoken to you on the mountain out of the midst of the fire on the day of the assembly, and the Lord gave them to me. Then I turned and came down from the mountain, and put the tables in the ark which I had made, and there they are, as the Lord commanded me. The people of Israel journeyed from Beerith Bani Jachin to Moserah. There Aaron died, and there he was buried, and his son Eleazar ministered as priest in his stead. From there they journeyed to Gajoda, and from Gajoda to Jotbatha, a land with brooks of water. At that time the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord to minister to him and to bless in his name, to this day. Therefore Levi has no portion or inheritance with his brothers, the Lord is his inheritance, as the Lord your God said to him. I stayed on the mountain, as at the first time, forty days and forty nights, and the Lord hearkened to me that time also, the Lord was unwilling to destroy you. And the Lord said to me, Arise, go on your journey at the head of the people, that they may go in and possess the land, which I swore to their fathers to give them. The Essence of the Law And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you, but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord, which I command you this day for your good. Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heaven of heavens, 
the earth with all that is in it, yet the Lord set his heart in love upon your fathers and chose their descendants after them, you above all peoples, as at this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the terrible God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner, giving him food and clothing. Love the sojourner therefore, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God, you shall serve him and cleave to him, and by his name you shall swear. He is your praise, he is your God, who has done for you these great and terrible things which your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down to Egypt seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as the stars of heaven for multitude. <laughs>